Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. What I do know, I'm still Angie. This is still 4F Beauty. You should be watching me in black and white right now. And this is another episode in my pick series. Once again, I'm introducing you to somebody new. New to you, but not new to me. We've chatted for a long time now. But she's only recently started her channel. And that person is the lovely Bridget. So, if you want to find out exactly which picture Bridget has chosen, which colours I have chosen from that picture, which palette or palettes I've used to create this look, and most importantly, what this looks like in glorious Technicolor. You know what I'm going to say. Sam is here. Which means it's time to grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, get comfy, and enjoy. Because here it comes. Hey my lovelies, welcome back from the intro. Apologies for the fan, ridiculously hot in here. And I seem to have got water in my ear from the shower this morning, which I can't dislodge. So if I end up sounding bizarre, it's because I'm sounding bizarre to myself right now. Now, you will have seen uh, from the intro that this is another of my pick series and once again I'm introducing you to somebody new, Bridget um, she's commented on my films for a long time and we've uh, been chatting back and forth on Instagram she has finally started her own channel and asked if she could do a pick with me and of course I was delighted so I did the usual, shot her a load of photos over and said there you go take your pick, if you don't like any of those tell me I'll send some more because I've got a whole folder full of that'd be a good one, that'd be a good one, that'd be a good one and just depending on what mood I'm in on the day depends which ones I send over but well, this is the picture that she chose the Aurora Borealis, there are so many colours to choose from from that um, I did my usual Pantone picker thing and that's how it came out probably put it down here under the picture so you can see there's a bright green, a dark green, a yellow a peachy, pinky, orangey shade a bright orange um, some lavenders some teals some lilac um, more teal colours and then uh, the water itself is a combination of deep green, black and brown. So, lots and lots to choose from. I basically just draw a straight line, I just, without looking, just with a pen, and draw a straight line down and it chose green, yellow as I went down the line, and the um, sort of lavendery, bluey purple of the main uh, mountains behind. So I thought it would be an ideal time for me to give my freaking bats another round on my channel because it's got all the colours that I needed. So, uh, this remains a teaching channel so uh, as always, it will be very up close to my eyes so that you can see what's going on. This does mean when I look down to clean a brush or add more pigment, you get a lovely shot of my hairline. But I figure that's it's worth the price to be able to see exactly what's happening 
especially if your eyesight's not too good and you're following me on a phone screen rather than a computer or a TV. So, face is washed, moisturised, SPF'd and primed. And because of today's heat, I've gone with my facial antiperspirant um, for my primer. And I'm going to insert my usual clip in just a moment where I talk you through the difference between deep set and hooded lids. Um, although the way that makeup wears on them is very similar through the day, in order to get the most longevity and the best initial impact from the makeup, you do need to apply them slightly differently. So, that clip will be just my eyes on screen again and uh, once that clip's over I'll see you at the other end of it to apply some colour pigments to my eyelids. See you in a moment. Now, um, my eyes have this primer on it. This is the Crown Pebble Primer in blank page cotton. I do have a discount code for this. It is not affiliated. I don't earn money from it. But if you use my code, you save, I think it's 15%. And I earn pebbles that I can offset against future purchases from them. The reason I love the Chrome Pebble Primer is because it's it goes on like a cream, but it has a powdery finish. So unlike when you use a concealer or like a MAC paint pot for example, you have the trade-off between do I set it so I can blend easily or do I leave it tacky so that I get the full impact of colour. You don't have that trade-off with this, you can blend on it instantly and you don't lose any of the colour. Now she does six different shades of this at the moment. White is the lightest, the deepest two are a chocolate brown and a black. Then there are three different skin tone shades as well, so you should be able to find one that will work for you. Um, I apply this with a flat brush, just a very light layer, and then I buff it over with a fluffy blending brush to take any excess off and to make sure I've got a nice even layer across the eye. Now, I've got deep set eyes, so I get the same issues that people with hooded lids get. I get transference of colour onto the upper lid. If I'm cutting my crease, I have to cut onto the upper lid, not just through the socket. And if I'm using glitter, even with glitter glue, I get a bare patch in the middle. Because people with hooded lids get the same symptoms as people with deep set eyes, I see a lot of people with deep set eyes thinking they have hooded lids when they don't. So they follow the guidelines for hooded lids and wonder why their eyes still don't look right. So, I'm going to explain very easily for you how to tell the difference and what the two workarounds are. With my brows relaxed and looking straight forward, you can see all of my mobile lid from inner to outer corner. You can't see a lot of it, but you can see it. So I haven't got hooded lids. It's only if this upper lid comes down and completely covers part or all of the mobile lid that you have a full or a half hooded lid or what's known as a mono or an Asian eye. I'm going to demonstrate on this eye deep set eyes because this is the eye that I'm blind in so I'll stay on screen and in focus. If I cover a visible mobile lid and close my eye you can see I've got as much if not more lid that tucks back away out of sight and if I do the same on the top lid, the static lid you can see I've got about the same amount of lid again that tucks back away out of sight when the eyes open and it's those two bits of lid rubbing together that give me same issues that hooded lids get. So, what are the workarounds? If you have hooded lids, get a brush, something like this, or a pencil brush, sketch out on your static lid 
where you want your new crease to fall. Now obviously that's going to reduce the space between the crease and the brow. So just use smaller blending brushes or if necessary take the colour right up to the brow instead of leaving a gap. If you have deep set eyes like myself, all we need to do when we're putting the colour through the crease, which 9 times out of 10 will be the deepest colour that we're using, just sit back, relax your brows and make sure you've brought it up high enough that you can see it when your eyes are open. So, two very different workarounds for two very different types of lids, but that have very similar issues. Hey my lovelies, I am back. Right, I'm going in with a Carla Crease 515 brush because I really want to blow the colour out today. And as always, I'm going to be using the Viennese Waltz of Blending. Now, most younger YouTubers you'll see using the windscreen wiper. This is fine, but I'm 47 years old. I've lost over 200 pounds in weight. This eye was pulled around as a kid, so I've got super deep crease in here. So, the skin on my eyelids moves. I mean, I know slim teenagers with the same issue, it can be genetic. But if you just rely on the windscreen wiper, you get your lid folding over and then you get those telltale white stripes. Dead giveaway. So, I use the Viennese Waltz. You hold the brush at the end, so you put as little pressure on as possible. You do natural turns towards the nose, a fleckle when you get there, and reverse turns to come back again. What this does is it very gently moves the skin around in both directions, so you shouldn't get those telltale white lines. Right. Um, Long term viewers will know when I'm doing my pick series, the instruction part of the film remains instruction and I'll chat more about Bridget at the end of the film. Right, I'm going to start off by going into Trapper, which is this sort of mustardy greeny yellow. And I'm going to start halfway between my natural crease and my brow. And I'm just going to start gently applying. I love this palette. I've used it a lot off camera. Um, it's definitely, definitely one of my favourites for the year. It does kick up a lot of... of uh, kick up in the pan though, which if you're not careful can lead to fallout, but I do my eyes before my foundation now anyway, so it's not really an issue. So, having applied the pigment, I'm just going to buff the edges to really buff that out and blow it out as much as possible. You can see I leave a small gap at the top so I can put my highlighter on. If you have shorter lids and less eye space to play with, just go straight up to the brow. You can still put a highlight on over the top of the colour if you need to. And the reason that I do both eyes rather than doing one eye and then coming back and doing the other is because with my fibro I can get random swellings anywhere including my face and uh, when that happens it's hubby coming in the back door Hello. Hey, it's his birthday today so I wish him a happy birthday for happy me birthday. In the I'm in the ladder to tackle his head Oh, is it that bad? It's quite tall. I'll have to get up. Because you're over six foot. Yes, I am, and I still can't reach these very top bits. Wow. So, yeah, can't be a fine for this, I think. Alrighty, have fun. Well, we'll do. Don't fall off the ladder. Oh, that's, that's, that's always funny in the films, never in real life. Yeah, exactly. 
Do you don't want to spend your birthday at the hospital. No, I don't want to go there anyway. No. As I was saying, um, I can get random swellings and puffiness and that includes my face and my eyes and sometimes when you sit back and relax your brows and when I look forward now you can see that they're both they both look the same shape. They're not actually the same shape. If you look this is a gentle curve. This one is more of a but then when I relax my brows and sit back they look the same. That's because you know, your eyes are different shapes, just like your eyebrows. You know, the only way you get symmetrical eyes is if you do a Jimmy Chuck and Photoshop it after you've done your makeup. Yes, that was sarcasm. Yes, it's the lowest form of wit. No, I don't care. I despised the boy right from the start. He only got his start through lying about his high school photo and I don't like the way he keeps propositioning straight guys and kids that are clearly not old enough allegedly although technically he did admit to messaging underage children right. Uh, I've been asked to show how I clean my brush, so microfiber cloth, brush and just do circular movements both directions until no more pigment comes off the brush. I'm going to do it once more just to be sure. See, I'm still getting bits of pigment coming out here, but basically that's that's all you do. Just circles backwards and forwards until you've got all of the pigment off of the brush. Um, I prefer using a microfiber cloth; it's much less harsh on the bristles of your brush, especially if you are using real hair brushes. Uh, I don't like colour switches, they are far too harsh, um, way, way too harsh on your bristles. Uh, I don't like them at all. Look at the amount of kick up in that pan, look. I'm going to have to waste that now. Right, so using the same fluffy brush, I'm dipping into Adam's, which is the deep green. And I'm going to do exactly the same as I did before, just a bit lower down. I'm just going to make sure that I blend it really softly into the first shade I put down. So how's your day been? Is it a good one? I hope it is. If you're wondering why Hubby's out in the garden on his birthday, that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to potter around in his work shed, building random things and pottering about in the garden. So if that's what he wanted to do for his birthday, that's fine. He's going out the weekend. With the boys, and as it's midweek, it's just mucking around in the garden. So I'm just going to bring this down to the outer third of my mobile lid and uh, just continue to buff and blend. I can't see a damn thing with this eye shut, so I hope I'm still on screen and in focus. Yay! I hope you've had a good day. 
And if you haven't, well, then I sincerely hope that tomorrow is better for you. And if you're at the start of your day, well, then I hope it's as fabulous as you are, darling. The uh, Series 3 of the UK Drag Race starts soon, 23rd of September. I'm looking forward to that. One of the greens coming back because obviously she had to dip out of season two because she ended up catching COVID. Poor oh girl. Although, I have to admit there was something about her. I don't know what it was. She came across as such a sweet, likeable person. And I get the feeling but underneath it, she's most definitely an iron fist in a kid glove. And is acting sweet and lovely to lull people into a false sense of security. I think we're dealing with a diva. I've seen some stuff on Twitter as well about Theresa May. Why didn't she do the Spanish one? Because she lives in the UK. Goodness sake. I hate any kind of ism. <laughs> like that. Yeah, seriously, I have no time for anybody who's going to behave like that. I really don't. I was brought up to believe that everybody's the same. And to treat everybody the way I would want to be treated until they give me a reason not to. Wow, there was still a lot of bristles coming out of this brush. It's been washed three times as well and there's still bristles coming out. I mean, the the brush is still floofy, but good lord, there's a lot of bristles coming out of it. I don't think I'll be buying any more colour brushes. Right. I'm going to grab a pad with some micellar water on. I'm just going to sharpen up the edge. I don't like using tape because if the tape is sticky enough to stop pigment getting underneath it then it is sticky enough that when you take it off it's going to pull against your skin and you'll end up with crow's feet years before you're meant to have them. That goes for these girls that are doing that bloody fox eye thing at the moment where they're putting tape on and pulling their eye out. Just... Why can't you be happy with the eye shape God gave you and use makeup to change the shape of it rather than taping it? Now, there are two shimmers I can choose from. And I think, looking at the pictures, well actually that's the main um, mountains and that's the mountains off to the right. So I could use either, I could use both. I think... I used Apparition before on camera, I think I'm going to use Zero. As always, once I've applied the pigment to my dry brush, I'll be spritzing it. This is just a Makeup Obsession Fix Fit setting spray. You can use any liquid. You can use um, a moisturising spray like MAC, Mary Badescu. You can use a priming spray, setting spray, finishing spray. You can even save a bottle, rinse it out and uh, 
use fresh water every day but never ever ever put a wet brush in a dry pigment because you will kill it so having applied the pigment I'm going to spritz it and now my ferrule is wet so tuck it into my knuckles and spin because the last thing we want is moisture getting down here loosening the glue that holds those bristles into place right and then using a flat packer brush or sometimes called a concealer brush I am going to apply this to my mobile lid dry that off pick up a bit more pigment is this one of those ones that okay this is a pigment that actually performs better when it's dry rather than when it's wet oh that's so pretty and then I'm going to use the tip of the brush just to blend it into the green there now with this eye, I pointed this creasing out to you earlier. You can see it's so deep, the creasing, that even the Viennese warps leaves me with stripes. Now, whatever I'm putting on my mobile lid, whether I'm doing a shimmer or a matte, I have to break my own rule about not pulling my eye out and stretching the skin. Because if I don't, what happens is the pigment collects loosely in those creases and then throughout the day it ends up falling down into my eye and onto my face and it's painful. So, I'll show you how I deal with it. I might just wet this just to stop a bit of falling out. I'm going to show you how I deal with it without causing too much additional damage. So, I gently flex the lid taking it just out far enough to straighten the crease as you can see the lid still moves and I apply the pigment smooth it over as quickly as possible and then put the lid back don't just let it spring back and then apply the rest of the pigment to the rest of the lid in exactly the same way that I did over here. And again, just buff the edge. Dry the brush. Pick up a bit more dry pigment. And just smooth it. like so. Right, my beautiful ones. I am going to pause you while I go and pop some foundation and whatnot on and I will be back to finish this eye look with you. So, I've got a little bit of a wait until I speak to you next but for you my darlings going to be absolutely instant. Hey, I'm back. Right, as you can see I decided to use the green that I used here to do my brow. I have strong brows today. Strong brows. Right, I'm going to use this uh, pencil brush and I'm going to dip into Adam's, which is that green. I'm just going to run that 
along my lower lash line. I'm trying out the Colourpop brow wax again today as it's a hotter day today to see how well it copes because although I love my soap brows if you get caught in the rain or you sweat too much I get a lot of facial sweating because of my medication that I'm on <clears throat> the brows can suddenly start to slide down your face <laughs> which is not a good thing right I'm going to use this fluffy brush paper tiny blending brush thing and I'm going to go into Spooky which makes you want to do an Alyssa Edwards Spooky Ooky Ooky Spooky Ooky Cokey and Creepy moment and I'm going to use that just to soften that lower lash line and just tie it in with the lavender that I've used on the top there I struggle a lot of times with putting anything in my waterline I've always had very watery eyes and let's just say the hay fever is real this year some years I get it quite mildly which is great but this year we seem to be having one of those they used to be called Indian summers but I don't know if that's now termed offensive where basically the, the summer goes and you think finally it's, it's autumn and then it comes back again for a couple of weeks and kicks your ass because it's too bloody hot and you've already packed most of your summer clothes away expecting autumn you know nice snuggly jumpers and things what can I say um, I'm gonna go into Sam I'm gonna pop that up under the tail of my brow like so clean the brush and then I'm going to go into handbook for my inner corner yeah where the weather sort of started to cool down now it's got hot again all of a sudden all of the flowers that had stopped producing pollen think Oh hang on, it's still warm. I should be producing pollen. So as well as the tree and the grass and the weed pollen that you get at this time of year, I now got the flower pollen to go with it. Fabulous. I really like this colour. Right. <clears throat> Once again, my beauties, I'm going to pause you. I'm going to choose a highlighter and chuck it in a match of my face because I wanted to dazzle the gods so they can't see what I'm up to. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, choose a lippy, do something with the hair, which is humidity and hair that has a natural curl to it. It either hangs limply or it goes fuzzy. Those are my options. Sometimes it does both. The roots hang limply and the ends go frizzy. I'll see you <laughs> right now. Okay my lovelies, I am back. Right, um, I'm trying out this Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydration Trihydrator, sorry Medium coverage up to 24 hour wear I'm in shade 20 Fair if you're wondering 
the concealer I used was the Catrice True Skin in shade 002 Neutral Ivory. Uh, I used the Fenty Butter Powder today. My usual butter bronzer. Look at that pan. Um, in shade bronzer. I used the <coughs> Fruit Blusher from Odin's Eye, the Ripe Papaya, and I used Fire Crystal Fenty um, Highlight. Mascara is the Elf Lash It Loud, and the Lippy is MAC 305 CB96. It's a frost. Got it on my teeth. Can you talk me? It's a frost orange, which I just thought, you know, orange is one of the colours in the picture, so it counts. There's the picture. What do you think? You like? You not like? How well do you think I've shown the picture in the look? Would you have gone for these colours? If you were the person collabing with me. Which colours would you have chosen? Is there a specific palette you can think of that you would have used? Let me know. And obviously, once you've done all the good things here, as in liking, commenting, checking you're still subscribed because People are still being unsubscribed, but it's being left in your feed, so it's not obvious. Checking your notification status still says all, because mine keeps getting knocked back to personalised. Then, I'm going to need you to go across to the lovely Bridget's channel and check out her look. Now, as I said, Bridget and I have chatted for ages now, both on Instagram and she's commented on a lot of my films. She's only recently started her YouTube channel so it'd be awesome if you could go across and just drop her a nice comment, drop her a like. If you like what she does then subscribe to the channel. Just let her know that 4F have sent you and show her the same kind of love that you always, always show me. Now, if you are new here or you've come from Bridget's channel, hi. Hello, welcome, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this is pretty much what you get on this channel. Uh, me blethering on about all kinds of everything, occasionally breaking into song. It's the Welsh part of me, it's in the, it's in the blood, I can't stop it. Uh, and if you like what you see, and you think you could bear to watch some more of these, it's super easy. My chair is squeaking by the way, in case you're wondering. It's not my butt squeaking. Admittedly, my skeleton makes some very strange noises. The squeaking so far is not what I'm. I know your butt is a muscle, but there's a skeleton underneath it, otherwise, it'll be floppy. Anyway, I've got to stop leaning forward and back. It's super easy to join the channel. All you do, you hit that red subscribe button and you turn it grey. Then you ring my bell. Ring my bell, there's the breaking into song I was talking about. And uh, choose all notifications and hopefully YouTube will pull their finger out and actually send you some. Um, I've got an awful lot of other films you can watch to catch up on in the meantime. After you've watched Bridget's. Um, you know, I've got other collabs, I've got other pick challenges. And this is episode, what, 56 now? So there's 55 other episodes you can watch. Um, a couple of the people that I've collabed with no longer have channels or no longer post on their channels. But the majority of them you'll still be able to, to get to and see the film. With all of my um, collabs I list the film and the person's channel in my description box. Like I said, there's collabs, there's pick challenges, there's tags, there's 
product reviews, makeup tutorials, I even read you my favourite poem in one of them. So hopefully there should be something you'd find interesting and you know I've said it for what feels like time immemorial now. Basi Apparently my dry shampoo wanted to be in the film today. Grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, get comfy, pick a playlist and just basically indulge lovey. What better way to have a little bit of me time with a coffee and a custard cream or a hot chocolate and a hobnob or whatever your choice of ambrosia and nectar may be. Just, you know, chill out listening to me talking about nothing in particular and everything in Bolton, all at the same time, whilst applying coloured pigments to various parts of my face. Alright my lovelies, that's enough for one day. All the remains for me to say as ever, my darlings, is your stay fabulous and I will see you next time. Bye for now.